Hi, today I want to show you the quickest way to create a LangChain application with the new LangChain CLI, which uses LangServe under the hood. So let's first create a new virtual environment with Python minus M when from the, then the name of the virtual environment. So we have to install Pydentic version one. So Pydentic V2 does not work yet in combination with the LangChain CLI. Let's now activate the virtual env. So we cd into the app folder, then into the script folder, and then run the activate script on Windows. We cd back, and then we install the langchain CLI. So langchain minus CLI, and then in brackets surf, because we use langsurf to create our API. After installing the package, we can now use the LangChain CLI and we run LangChain app and we want to create a new app. So we also use the new keyword and then we define the name of the app. So let's just call it my app. And now we've got a new folder called my app. So we have to CD inside that folder. So before we continue, we will have a look at the my app folder. And here is a subfolder called app. And inside that subfolder is a server.py. So this is how the API is created. So we use fast API, we create an app instance, and here we can add routes. So currently we don't have any routes because we did not add a package yet. So this is the next step we will do. And after that, we will just run uvcorn, which uh, runs our API. So but first let's add a template. So we can again use the langchain CLI. So we use langchain and then app and then add. So add adds a package and we make use of the pirate speak template. So this will now download the pirate speak template into our repository. You can see this is where it gets downloaded from. So we have to install it. So run it. Yes. And then after a few seconds, we get asked if we want to generate the router code for the package. So we also say yes. And now we have to copy that router code. So we will first copy the import statement and copy it here. And then we will just add the route. So we delete this and add the other route. So this is a, an error here. So we have to make it a backslash. Otherwise it would not work. And then maybe also use the correct virtual environment here for VS Code. So now we have to set the OpenAI API key. So on Windows, you just run the set command. On Linux or Mac, you run export. So OpenAI API key equals my API key. And then we use the langchain CLI again and run langchain serve. So this now starts our application. As we can see, langserve started the server and we can go to slash pirate speak slash playground. So I had some issues the first time I tried this. And as you can see, this is the way it looks like in my browser and in VS Code that I can see the error. So this is a this is an encoding error and I can show you a quick way to fix it. But currently this is deeply implemented in the package. So we have to change the source code of the package. So to fix it, we can import from langserve dot playground. We can import the playground prompt template and actually just overwrite the code here. So there's nothing you would do in production, but it works as a quick fix here. So let's crawl down to with open and here we can set an encoding. So here we set the encoding to equals UTF-8. And now if we save that, and just run the code again. So let's refresh it. And now we can see our LangSurf playground works. So let's test it and just run, hello, my friend. Then we can click on start. And as you can see, now we can see what's actually going on here. That's quite nice to see the code that is actually executed and now we can see, yeah, this is the way a pirate speaks a whole my matey. So this works. 
But maybe let's have a look at the code that is actually running behind it so to get a better understanding. So let's first go back here and close the virtual env. And then we have a look at the packages. So we can add multiple packages here. And inside the private speak package, we've got this chain. And this is what's responsible for the behavior. So we create or import a chat prompt template. Then we create a prompt. And here we can see this the system message translate user input into pirate speak. And that's the human input. So a very simple prompt. And we use chat open AI as model. And then we use the lang chain expression language to create our chain. This chain is then imported to the server. So we import it from here from pirate speak dot chain. We import the chain and give it an alias name. And then we add the chain to this route function. So we first have to pass the app and then the runnable. So this is the chain and this is the path. And then we can access this endpoint in the UI. So yeah, that's it. As you can see, this is a very quick way to create a prototype with LangChain and LangSurf. So if you liked the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like it, of course. Thank you. Bye-bye.